Hey everyone, uh, welcome to our Wellness Wednesday webinar. So today we're going to be talking about oils for respiratory support, which is pretty timely, I think, seeing it's now spring and I know spring brings out the worst in a lot of people and I've had a few questions about it lately about different oils to use to help with uh, clear breathing. Um, to help with congestion, to help with those sort of coughs and colds and things that are still lingering from winter. Um, and it's been a really hard winter, I have to say, for a lot of people and for us as well. Um, I think just because it's been so cold. And every time we, we think we're on top of everything, then we get a cold snap and then someone starts to sniffle again. So it's just that constant cycle. So that's what we're, we're trying to break. And we want to be supporting our bodies with something that is natural because you know mother nature really provides us with so many amazing options we don't always need to pop a pill um, my goal is to be staying out of the pharmacy as much as possible and I've been sharing a bit of info about that lately about the types of things that we're supporting um, using the oils using natural remedies at home so when we're talking about breathing I just have to say first of all please do not self-diagnose if you are having issues with breathing or your child is having issues with breathing, please go and see your doctor. So this is not something that you want to mess around with at all. So if you're having breathing problems, please see your doctor. The types of things we're talking about today, we're looking at safe, natural, effective ways to manage mild symptoms. So if you've got a cold, that doesn't need, you know, you don't need to run to the doctor for a cold. They're going to say, go home and rest, drink lots of fluids. Um, what we're talking about is getting out of the pharmacy, using our beautiful natural products to help allow our bodies to heal, um, to ease some of those symptoms without relying on a pharmacy product, just to help us feel a bit better. The second thing I have to say in terms of respiratory stuff is that what we're using in our homes is so important. So if you have a respiratory condition, if you have asthma, if you have allergies, if you have any lung condition going on and you're still wearing perfume or you're still you know, spraying air fresheners around or burning scented candles or using a multitude of commercial cleaning products that are sprayed in every room on your benches and your... Um, your toilets and cleaning glass and all of those things, all of those fragranced products are incredibly damaging for our bodies, for our lungs. So there have been studies that have come out recently about how the use of cleaning products um, can be the equivalent of smoking 20 cigarettes a day. So when we're talking about the respiratory system, we're talking about lung health, we want to be living and breathing in a really clean environment. We don't want to be breathing in those fragrances, those VOCs, um, things like bleach and ammonia, like oven cleaner is just toxic. So really have a look. If you are someone who has an actual respiratory condition, please have a look at what you're using in your home because I guarantee by switching out some of those things that you're using at home, you will make a massive difference for your health. If you were to do nothing else but to stop wearing perfume and get rid of those cleaning products at home, it could be amazing for your health. So I just want to put that out there first of all, because again, what we're looking at doing with the oils is we, we're not looking to make just a band-aid solution. We're not going, let's just fix this little symptom for right now. We want to be supporting our bodies to heal themselves. So getting rid of anything toxic, reducing our toxic load, cleaning up our environment, doing everything we can to support our bodies to achieve optimum health um, and that's what we all want we want to feel good right so all right we've talked about fragrance we're going to talk about oils now so um, one of the first ways that so I, I don't have asthma allergies anything like that my husband has hay fever I have three children who tend to get lots of sniffles and things like that so when I was looking at oils for respiratory support the first place um, for me was how I was going to be using them with my kids so the only thing I was really using that with them, so I've had um, vaporizers over the years, getting sort of steam into their rooms. Um, I used to use Vicks a long time ago. After that, I switched to a different brand of like a eucalyptus rub and I'd get that on their feet or their chests if they were a little bit unwell. 
um, and we've taken it a step further now and we're using our beautiful oils. So anytime there's a sniffle, coughs, colds, all those sorts of things, we're able to mix up um, a natural version of Vicks basically to get on their bodies and we're diffusing the oils in their room, which has been really, really super helpful. So for children, um, some of the oils I'll be talking about today really are more for older kids and for adults. So when we're talking really young children, so kids who are under three, there are some oils that we probably wouldn't want to use with them. So remember, these guys are incredibly potent. So one drop of peppermint essential oil is the equivalent of 28 cups of peppermint tea. Remember, so we want to be using a very small amount. We want to be highly diluting our oils. So you can look up um, some dilution charts online. If you have a specific question, feel free to ask me. Um, but we want to be matching um, the oil and the dilution for their age. So a fantastic combination for really young kids under three that I've had great success with is a blend of frankincense and cardamom. So this oil might be a surprise. So this beautiful spice, we think of it in our um, butter chicken, we love cardamom, um, smells amazing. I use it in baking a lot, but it's actually really good for respiratory support as well. So um, kids under three, you'd mix up maybe one drop of each in some coconut oil, depending on their age again, how much coconut oil, but one or two teaspoons of oil, so 10 mils. Um, with one drop each of frankincense and cardamom and I would massage that on their chest, on their spine, on their feet. Um, so I always get any of the oils that I'm using on my kids I tend to put on their feet. Um, obviously for young kids then you want to put socks on so they're not going to end up in their mouth. Um, but we find that really really helpful. So when my younger son, he's now, well he'll be five in October so we're kind of really moving out of the the really little kid stage. But when I first got started, um, I just used to use frankincense, actually. Um, and I found that really good, but frankincense and cardamom together, smells amazing, you can diffuse those two as well. Absolutely beautiful. So for young kids, frankincense and cardamom. So for older kids, I of course have to talk about Easy Air. So this is our respiratory blend. It's a blend of a number of oils, which I will read out, and cardamom is in there. Um, it's laurel, eucalyptus, peppermint, tea tree, lemon, cardamom, ravensara, and ravensara. So this is an amazing blend for respiratory support. It's, it's the go-to. So anytime anyone has issues with um, breathing, coughs, colds, sniffles, congestion, all that sort of stuff, Easy Air is the number one oil that you would want to reach for. Um, really beautiful, smells amazing, smells a bit like Vicks. Um, but we can make up our own version of a chest rub using some extra virgin coconut oil and a few drops of our Easy Air. And that's something that you can massage on their chest or on their back, on their feet. Um, obviously, you can do it for yourself as well. As an adult, if you need some support, it works absolutely beautifully. So you can get that in the diffuser as well. So I'm going to run through the top oils that I like to use for respiratory support. I've got a few blends, um, so grab a pen if you want to write these down. And um, then I'm going to run through just some different ways to use the oils um, for respiratory support. So yeah, absolutely have to talk about Easy Air. The reason we would want to be using something like Easy Air and coconut oil over a VIX, first of all, we know we're getting the absolute purest oils. So we know that they're going to do what they're supposed to do. And just mixing it with coconut oil means it's a completely natural, safe way to apply the oil. So VIX does have a um, petroleum base. Um, it's a chemical product with some, some natural ingredients added. We want to be using our, our Easy Air and our coconut oil for amazing support. Um, so in terms of individual oils though, um, we have to talk about peppermint. So I've shared before how much I love peppermint. This is an oil that I use every single day. Um, I've got some on my nose now as we speak because it really helps to boost my energy and clear my head and it just, it makes me feel really energized and alert and yeah, can't have enough of that, especially on a Wednesday when you've got a sick child and you're not sleeping as well as you should be. So for lots of reasons, um, if you have 
issues with the change of season. So if spring is really difficult for you and when you're walking outside you start to cough and sneeze and get itchy eyes and all those sorts of things, um, a beautiful combination is peppermint, lavender and lemon together. So this is something you can diffuse. So anytime, so my husband does get hay fever whenever he mows the grass at this time of year. We always have this blend mixed up to get on him and we always have it diffusing in the house. So as soon as he comes back inside, he's smelling um, those oils straight away and getting the benefit of them straight away. So that's lavender, lemon and peppermint together. Really, really great combination. So one little word of warning with peppermint. So um, I do tend to err on the side of caution when it comes to the oils and especially when I'm using them with my kids. So Robert Tisserand, the Tisserand Institute, um, is a really well recognized, well regarded um, source of information when it comes to essential oils. And his very safe, very conservative recommendation is not to use peppermint on children under three. So I'm happy to go along with that. Obviously my kids are slightly older. So like I said, for really young kids under three, things like frankincense and cardamom, for kids over three, you can definitely diffuse it. And if you're going to apply it, it wants to be really, really highly diluted. So he recommends 0.5% dilution, which is incredibly low. Um, again, use caution, use your common sense. Um, yeah, just, just be safe with the peppermint. So eucalyptus is the second oil I want to talk about. Absolute go-to when it comes to anything to do with respiratory um, stuff. So fantastic for helping relieve um, those feelings of congestion, um, anytime you just want to breathe a bit more freely then eucalyptus is amazing and it just it smells it smells healthy to me. I love the smell of eucalyptus, it's, it really is a go-to for us. Um, so anything to do with coughs and colds and congestion and it's actually been used this way, it's been recognized as providing excellent support in terms of respiratory stuff for a really long time. So it has been um, Noted that it was being used during World War One to help control infections and, and fight flu and that sort of thing. So we can definitely draw on eucalyptus anytime we're needing support with, with breathing. Um, okay, next one is rosemary. So I love rosemary. I use it in my cooking all the time. I use it in blends for my hair. Um, I use it in blends for energy. So anything to do with chronic fatigue, adrenal fatigue, things like basil and rosemary, these beautiful herb oils are really supportive. Um, but it's also great for congestion. So a really lovely blend if you're feeling um, congested, needing some respiratory support, would be lavender, peppermint and rosemary. So really, really lovely. And I know lots of you will have gotten this um, oil for free last month, perhaps for the first time it was our product of the month. Um, next one, again might be a bit of a surprise, is black pepper. So I haven't had my black, oh actually I must have had it for a while because it's more than half empty. I have to watch that. Um, I love black pepper. Anytime I'm under the weather, if I'm feeling really cold, so I have some thyroid stuff going on, I get really cold hands and feet in winter. Black pepper is an incredibly warming, stimulating sort of oil. So it's a little bit like peppermint. Um, but for colds and congestion, you can add it to the diffuser, um, you can add it to your blends, you could have it in you know, a chest rub with some easy air, get it on your feet. So I find, like I said, really warming. So anytime you're cold, um, black pepper is a really lovely oil to use. And I just love the smell of it, actually. So it, you know, it's, it smells peppery, but it's a bit floral as well. It smells really, really lovely. So lovely to blend with eucalyptus and Douglas fir. So that's a great combination. Um, black pepper, eucalyptus and Douglas fir together. Fantastic in the diffuser. Um, it's one that I really like to use a lot. Um, so like I said before, cardamom, absolutely beautiful. Um, one of our beautiful warming spicy oils and amazing support for uh, the respiratory system. So anytime you can um, get cardamom in a diffuser or on your body, um, it's a really, really good thing. So yeah, decongestant properties basically with our cardamom, that's why we'd want to use it. Uh, the last one is thyme. So super, super powerful. So a little bit like oregano uh, in terms of its intensity, 
and I just I love that all of these herbal oils that we kind of just think of as food are so powerful and so supportive for our bodies so oregano thyme rosemary basil all have incredible properties when it comes to supporting our health uh, thyme is in a blend that I've been mixing up for my four-year-old so it is really strong so you have to watch the dilution uh, but I've had Easy Air, Thyme, what was the other one? Easy Air, Thyme and Cardamom uh, mixed up for his cough. So he's been coughing for about a week and a half. Uh, getting better, happy enough, eating, no temperature, like all fine, but he needs some support um, with his breathing, especially overnight. So Thyme, Easy Air and Cardamom is what's in the blend that I'm using on his chest and that's working really, really well. So in terms of how to use those oils, like I said, we've been talking about diffusing and anytime you're talking about breathing, then obviously we want to be breathing the oils in. So using them in the diffuser is perfect. Um, just popping the top off the bottle and breathing it in is also perfect. We want to be mixing them up and um, in some coconut oil, either in a fractionated coconut oil in your roller bottle or um, a solid coconut oil, seeing the weather's still cool enough to keep it solid. That makes a really great chest rub. Really lovely for your skin as well. Um, but yeah, so we're diffusing it, we're applying it to our body, so get it on your chest, um, back of your neck, down your spine, on your feet, just get it on your body so it's gonna be absorbed into your bloodstream. Um, I love using them in the shower. So I've said this before, um, but peppermint or easy air, um, add a few drops to the floor of the shower. So when you're in getting up in the morning, have that beautiful warm shower, get those drops in there and be inhaling all of that beautiful steam to help open up your airways, um, clear your sinuses, clear your heads, just wake you up a little bit. So easy air, eucalyptus, peppermint, anything like that is going to work really, really well in the shower. You can also add some drops to either a bowl of hot water. So you'd sit and have a towel over your head and just breathe them in or you can just have them in a mug. So that's something that I, I do quite a lot. So just fill up a mug with boiling water, leave it, let it sit for a moment or two, then you wanna add some drops. It might be something like oregano, thyme, um, rosemary, eucalyptus. You know, you can use just one, use a combination, tea tree as well. If you're actually unwell at the time, then get those oils in that hot water and breathe it in. So it is super strong especially if you've got a few drops of oregano in there, keep your eyes shut. Just a little tip there, first time I did it, I didn't shut my eyes and my eyes were watering. Um, it's really not that pleasant. So close your eyes if you've got that mug with those oils in it, keep your eyes shut and do lots of big deep breaths and it really helps to kind of clear everything out. Um, so in terms of congestion, so one congestion buster diffuser blend that I really like is Easy Air and Lemon. Um, very clearing, very supportive of breathing. Um, you can use that day or night. I really, really like that one. Um, if you have congestion pain, so if you're someone who gets that pain around here, then diluting Digest Zen. So that's our digestive blend, not typically what you'd use when you, you need respiratory support, but it actually works really, really well. So it's lots of warming aromatic oils so breathing them in is going to be helpful as well but they they i don't know why but they work really well so dilute that and massage that all around under your eyes around your nose behind your ears back of the neck wherever you're feeling that pain and that pressure and that can really help relieve that uh snoring so i wasn't sure whether i would talk about snoring in this class or save it for sleep chances are i'll do both um, but it is a respiratory issue. Snoring is definitely a respiratory issue. So the number one oil for snoring has to be thyme. So you can dilute that. If it's, if it's your partner who's snoring and he's open to some help, um, diluting some thyme and getting that on his feet, especially around the big toe, is really, really helpful. I've shared in my customer group before, there's a blend called Soaring Logs, and it's really, really effective, and I wrote that one down for you guys. So if you've got a pen, if you have someone who has an issue with snoring, you'll want to write this down. So 14 drops of lavender, 8 drops of marjoram, and 7 drops of thyme in 10 mils of coconut oil. And that's a blend that you'd mix up and you'd get on your body, on his body. So on your chest, back of the neck, feet, um, you can look up 
uh, an, a reflexology chart if you want to be getting the oils on you know the corresponding part of your feet uh, that can be really effective as well but that's an awesome blend if you want um, some oils in the diffuser to support snoring then one that I like is a couple of drops each of Easy Air, Vetiver and Eucalyptus. So supporting, opening the airways, supporting um, sleep and relaxation, sort of calming everything down, really, really helpful. So those are two options for snoring if that's an issue at your place. Um, what was the other blend I was going to share? Um, so I mentioned with congestion, so Easy Air and Lemon. Easy Air actually blends really well with any sort of citrus. So Easy Air and Litsia is lovely, Easy Air and Lemongrass. Anytime um, you want to just kind of refresh the air, um, help with breathing, just have everything feel a bit lighter and a bit fresher. So often when we're congested, everything just feels blocked and heavy. So Easy Air and a citrus oil is a really great combination if you haven't tried that before. So we've run through kids, we've run through blends, we've run through individual oils, and we've talked about how to use them. So I know a couple of people had some questions, but they aren't on at the moment. So if you guys do have any questions, if you're watching the replay and you have any specific questions, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Um, make sure you guys watch the replay as well if you want to grab those blends if you missed them. Um, yeah, so if you don't have the oils yet, so this is the time we're in spring now, it's an amazing time to be getting started with the oils and making some positive changes as we lead up to Christmas, it's the craziest time of the year, supporting our health at this time of the year is really, really important. So if you don't have the oils yet, please go back to the person who introduced you to them, or if that was me and you want to get started with my support, you can leave me a comment below or send me a message and we'll have a chat about all your options and basically the best place to start for you and your family. Uh, I think that's going to be it for today. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you're watching live or if you're watching the replay, uh, if you have any questions, let me know if this has been valuable for you, please give this video a like and you can tag anyone who might need some respiratory support as well. So I'll be back next week at the same time. We're going to be talking about detoxing and weight management. Huge topic, very relevant for spring. So have an awesome Wednesday afternoon, everyone. I hope that's been helpful for you. Um, have a great afternoon. I'll catch you next week. See ya.